everyone, my name is Karen. This is my channel where I'll rather be reading and today I'm bringing to you my May marked as to read video. So if you're new to the channel, my marked as to read videos is just a series of videos kind of each month where I go through all of the books that I have recently marked as to read on Goodreads, where I heard about them, what they're about, why I'm excited about them. All of those things. This is in a TBR. It'll probably take me about 10 million years to get to most of these books, but these are the ones that I've just heard about and maybe you would be interested in them as well and you'd want to pick up. So I'm going to talk about them. May was a pretty restrained month for marking books as to read. I actually only marked six. So hopefully this will be a fairly quick video. So let's jump straight in and talk about all six books that I marked as to read on Goodreads in May. First off, I have a book that I heard Lauren from over at Lauren and the Books talk about on her channel. I think she only gave it like a three star, but she compared it to a point horror. So the book is The Burning by Laura Bates. So this is a YA book about a girl who moves to a new school. Um, and she's dealing with kind of all that. I think she's trying to escape her past. I think we know that she's like changed her name, all of those types of things, kind of like secret identity type of thing. And she then feels this connection to a girl um, from the past who was, I think, um, I don't know if she was convicted, but she was like accused of witchcraft. And so there's some like witchy type vibes in there. I'm not really sure exactly what's going on, but the comparison to Point Horror was enough for me to be very, very intrigued. And so I marked that as to read. Next we have a book I was actually recommended by Mel. And that is Lovely War by Julie Berry. So Mel recommended this to me. And it's one of those books that the synopsis is kind of strange. So it's a YA historical fiction. I think the first part of the story is set around World War One, and there's two couples. But we're being told the story 30 years later from the perspective of Aphrodite, the goddess of love. That to me is not necessarily something that would hook me in. But Mel read it and loved it. And then when I was looking at it on Goodreads after she recommended it to me, this has such like a really high average rating as well. Like people are loving this book. And so I just found that very intriguing. And so it's definitely something that I'll probably want to check out in future. Um, next, I have a book that Heather from over at the Bookables mentioned in a haul that she did. And that's called The Strangers by Margaret Peterson Haddix. This is a middle grade novel. It's about three siblings. And there are three kids that get kidnapped in their town however or in their town they find out about these three kids who were kidnapped who have the exact same names as them like first middle and last same date of birth um same age like same obviously date of birth but like same everything as them and i think it's all about that mystery and like what's going on with that it's middle grade probably be a lot of fun yeah now this next one that i marked as to read i didn't actually write down any notes about why i marked this as to read i presume it's because of the author so i marked best friends forever hi baby by Margot Hunt as to read. I read another book by Margot Hunt in May, but I didn't like it. So I don't know, <laughs> like this premise sounds good, but I don't know if it was just that I was like, oh, Margot Hunt and marked it as to read or if there was some other reason that I marked this because I didn't write any notes on it. So this is a book about two best friends. One of them's husband is killed and the, the wife of him kind of goes silent um, you know, isn't saying a lot, isn't contacting her friends, trying to get in contact with her. And I think the police are looking at the friend. Um, and so I'm not sure if it's like a situation of she's being framed and the friend sitting around. I don't really know, but it seems to deal with, um, friendship tropes in it. Um, friendship tropes, friendship themes in it, which I love friendship themes in my books, particularly in thrillers. So looking forward to reading that, even though I didn't like For Better and Worse by Michael Hunt. Um, then I have a book that Lala talked about on her channel, which is The Wise and the Wicked by Rebecca Potis. So this is a YA LGBT magical realism story. I always think to myself that magical realism isn't something that I like, but then when I read it, I typically enjoy it. Um, so I don't know why I've got in my head that I don't like it, because then I read it and I, I usually end up liking it. So this is about a group of women in their family when, when they come of age, they have a vision of what their life is going to be like when they die. And historically, that vision has always, always come to pass. Even if they try to change it, it doesn't matter. It ends up like coming true. Except then I think the main character's aunt dies and hers is different from what she had envisioned. I don't, so it's all about that kind of story. I'm just very intrigued by this whole premise of seeing a vision, getting to know what your life's going to look like when you, I don't think that I would want that to ever happen to me, but I just found the premise kind of intriguing. And I think Lala enjoyed the book as well. So I just thought that was intriguing and like another magical realism book that I might like to check out in future. 
And then the final book that I marked as to read was Everything But The Truth by Gillian McAllister. So Emma from over at Drinking By My Shelf did a author spotlight on Gillian McAllister and she talked about all of the books that she had published. And honestly, I was interested in every single one of them. And so I just marked her um, earliest publication as to read. And so that when I read that, I'll kind of, if I enjoy it, I'll end up working through her entire publication like list that's what I generally do so this is a thriller it's about a woman who's pregnant and then all I really know about it is that I'm not sure if it's her husband or boyfriend I'm not sure if they're married but her partner she ends up finding out a shocking secret about him while she's pregnant with his baby that's all I know but um I think Emma said this was her least favorite of Julianne McAllister's books but the premise is still intriguing and like I said she seemed like an author that I was gonna want to end up reading all of her books and so I figured why not start with the earliest publication which everything but the truth is and so I marked that one as to read this month so that's it you guys those are all of the books that I marked as to read a pretty like I said small list this month for me I would love to chat with you guys in the comments down below if you have read any of these books or if you're interested in any of these books or if you've got any recommendations for me I would love to hear those as well please like this video if you liked it please subscribe if you want to see more from my channel but that is all I have for this video today bye guys